Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Yes, I am back. I'm very sorry for last week. I got a lot of calls and yes, there was just a lot going on last week and like I couldn't put out a video. So I'm sorry about that. But in the spirit of consistency, I am back. And if you just stumbled upon this video or you, this is the first video you're watching on this channel, please subscribe. Also click click on the notification bell because I try, trust me, I try, if it's not for last week, I try to post a new video every week. Also like the videos, um, share with your friends, your family, your ex-boyfriend, your ex-girlfriend. Yes, if you find this kind of content helpful or you like the kind of content I um, put out. So yes. Well, before we go further in this um, video or in this little discussion we're going to be having, um, forgive the sound in case you hear any sound. It's actually raining. So I can't keep procrastinating this video. Like, so let's just do it now. Um, so before I go further, I would like to extend my condolences to the families of those who lost their loved ones in the Ondo State shooting and or should I say the Ondo State massacre because that's I couldn't watch the video I started the first few seconds and I just I couldn't do it it's crazy that as a nation we've gotten to this point that's in a church where people go to find peace and solace and solitude that is where it's being attacked and it's just sad it's sad that that happened it's sad that as a country or as a nation we are at this point also my condolences to those who oh, the southern Kaduna shooting also it's crazy it, it, look we've gotten to a point that as a country we are now used to the sound of gunshots and like people going health and health and going haywire we are in the hands of the lord right now because these leaders don't know what they're doing and at this point i just look to jesus for peace and sanity right now because the only thing we get to hear at the end of the day is we condemn this act we condemn this act i don't want to go full full dose or full like fully into it if not this video is not going to finish but um it's crazy that you are so quick as a government to catch um, internet fraudsters but these people are in the forest and you cannot do anything about it you you are literally acting as if you do not know that they exist with that being said please if you're a nigerian i urge you and i beg you to please go get your voters card your pvc please go get your voters card come 2023 let's all come out to vote yes your vote should count as a citizen of this country you like seriously you owe it to this country to vote so please come out if nothing has taught you anything in these eight years that we have been living in whew, i don't want to go into it but please come out to vote i'm not just preaching what i don't do i actually have my own pvc here so please come out and uh, like get your pvcs and be ready to vote in 2023 by god's grace so let's get into this video today we are going to be talking about body types and how to dress for your body type and your body shape so without talking too much let's just get into it so we're talking all things body types all things body shapes and how to dress for your body type now this should have been like the first video i'll have done in this channel but i'm sorry i opened this channel and when i when we started recording it was the grammys and before you know it was the med ball then the amvc so it was kind of doing like fashion reviews and fashion roast so part of the reasons why i opened or should i say why i started a youtube channel was to actually help people dress better or to help people look comfortable in their um, be comfortable in their skin, but also to dress for their body type. Now, this is a debate I think that has been going on for long. A lot of people just wear clothes that are maybe something that is trending now, or they just wear things that are trending, not minding if that trend is actually for their body type. Now, the body types I'm going to be talking about is mostly for the females because guys also have like a different body type, and I'm going to talk about that in a different video. But this is like the female body type and every other body type that comes after this four i'm going to talk about it still falls under this major four it's just that when you talk about like an hourglass um 
um, body type. There's a plus size hourglass and there's also a petite hourglass um, figure or a, a petite hourglass frame. So I'm going to be dissecting these things and just how to dress for your body type and be comfortable in, in your in your body. As far as I'm concerned, every body type is unique. Every body type is beautiful and special. There is nobody that would tell me that, or should I say, I can't actually open my mouth to say, oh, these people, like, the, when they dress this, um, dresses fit this body type better than this other no it's just for you to get the right dress and style it properly so yes let's get right into it so the first body type i'm going to be talking about is the inverted triangle which can also be called i think they call it the some people call it the apple shape but i prefer to call it the inverted um, triangle these are people with um broader shoulders broader bust line a narrow waist and also a narrow hip line now, this set of people are kind of like, I, I would say, they kind of have like an athletic build, but not all the time. Some of them have an athletic build. That's why I said the body type, like it comes, it, it can come in both plus size and also in a petite frame. So now with this body type, when we talk about um, um, dresses or when we talk about like necklines, this body type... Things that suit them better is it's asymmetric necklines. Also, um, when it comes to dressing the lower part of their body, they're advised to wear things that are loose and free, just to create like the right balance and the right proportion. So, yes, I'm going to be looking down at my notes because this is a, this is a lot to get through, and I'm trying to make this video as short as possible. But before we go further, the celebrities that are of this body type that you can also find inspiration from their wardrobe and also in, implied in your own wardrobe. We have celebrities like Angelina Jolie, we have um, Renee Zellweger, and we also have Demi Moore. So these are people with wider or should I say broader shoulders, like also broad, like the bust line is kind of proportional to also the shoulder measurement, narrow waistline and narrow hip line. So in dressing this body type, you need to wear things that will ac accentuate their figure. So, when it comes to neckline, asymmetric neckline is advised. Also, V-neck, scoop neck, the U-neck, and um, the um, halter neck. Then, I don't so much agree with that halter neck, but I saw it somewhere. It looks nice, but not a fan of it, personally. But yes, um, when it comes to sleeve, wide, wide straps are advised. Also, drop shoulder, kimono sleeves, and raglan sleeves. All these names I'm calling, you can find the pictures on the internet. Um, they, are not, they are not things that are new. But yeah, when it comes to tops, peplum tops are also advised for this set of people. Also, wrap tops. It draws the eye away from, I think, the bust line. Like, it gives, it draws the eye away and um, gives the waistline, like, a proper... I don't know how to put it. It accentuates the the snatchness of the waistline. I don't know the right English to use for that, but I don't know if you get my drift. So fitted tops, also waterfall jackets are like a go-to for these people. Also trousers, we talk about like palazzo trousers. Like I said, the, um, the lower part, or should I say the lower portion of their body shouldn't be in tight or like really fitted clothes because you're trying to balance proportion. So palazzo pants are, um, are a good fit. Also flared pants. In skirts, we have tulip skirts, the box pleat. Also an A-line and a layered skirt. These things accentuate the figure and gives you that more like snatched, um, snatched look at the waist. So when we come to dresses, a shift dress is always a go-to. An A-line dress, a paneled waist. Also, a nipped waist and pleats. Pleats, 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 pleats should be like your best friend when, if you are an inverted triangle shape. Like I said, all shapes and all figures are beautiful. So yes, also when it comes to like um, balancing patterns, I think, I don't think, I know. So you, um, your, um, the lower part of your body is slimmer and is smaller. Patterns should be worn below to balance 
the top part of your body just to give it a more like a more rounded and more proportional look so patterns are welcomed and appreciated below even bright colors are appreciated below so that's that for the inverted triangle so the next set of people we are going to be talking about the rectangular shaped people or as how people like to call them the ruler shaped people but i prefer to say the rectangular now these are people with same um like the upper part of their body and the lower part of their body is literally the same they are called like more like the athletic kind of body now this set of people are advised like if you are this shape belts should be your best friend literally belt should be your best friend because your shoulder line your bust line your waistline and your hip line there's like little to no definition for it it's just straight that's why they call it like a rectangle it's just like straight so now in cases like this you um people of this shape are advised to always have things that are snatched at the waistline now it can be a flared a flared skirt but definitely it has to be that defining i don't know there has to be that definition on the waistline now this set of people are advised to actually wear softer fabrics because when it's belted it gives like a fuller um it gives like a fuller effect on the lower part of the body also these people are advised to wear um to avoid um vertical lines because it just gives it still gives you that look i, I don't know how to explain this but it still gives you that um straight look and yeah it's not always the nicest when you like you are in real shape and you wear like vertical lines it, i don't know it does something to you like it deceives the eye or something so yeah this set of people are advised to always belt their outfits now things that look nice on them like mid-rise jeans like when it comes to pants like jeans mid-rise jeans are always advised and also celebrities that are of this figure i think i wrote it down yes celebrities are of this figure are kate hudson and also gwyneth paltrow also you can look to them because this two set of people i call i style icon and yes cameron diaz these three people are style icons and they understand their body they know how to dress for their body and even in movies you can see that there is always something that they do that just accentuates their body one way or the other also always have the right undergarment it does a lot of wonders so yeah. so we have the um triangular body type which is also known as the pear shape now these are people with narrow shoulder and bust lines um also narrow waistline but um the lower part of the or should i say lower half of their body is fuller than the upper part so these people are advised to wear things that will accentuate the upper parts of their body and also um just so to create like a more balanced look now this set of people are advised to wear bright colors up and um like darker colors down because it slims um the lower half of the body and gives it a more proportional look to the upper part of the body now when it comes to necklines off shoulders are always great um square necks are always great I, a lot of people hate square necks <laughs> i don't like it either well they are also like a good um way of balancing the look out also when it comes to sleeve and belly sleeves the puff sleeves like these are the set of people that should be wearing that trend so the puff sleeves also the when it comes to the tops also crop tops are great bomber jackets are great um tops that has or sorry top that have like on um, pockets on the bus line is also great for this set of people also a wrap top is great and i wrote some of them down so let me not claim that i crammed everything so a wrap top is great um when it comes to sleeve also a bell sleeve a bat wing sleeve is is great and also structured sleeves are great for this set of people now trousers straight trousers um flared pants and also boot cuts are the go-to here also in dresses we have the a-line dress the wrap dress the tulip dress the empire waist dress these are things that are advised for 
this set of people to wear. Now, celebrities with this body type, we have the likes of Jennifer Lopez, which we all know. Also, Kim Kardashian. Now, people will argue with me on this, but I'll get back on this. And um, Kim Kardashian, and also there's this other person. I can't remember. But when it comes to Kim, the people always think she's an hourglass, but she's a pear-shaped lady. Now, the hourglass starts from the shoulder, not from the bust line. So some people think that, okay, if you have like a big bust line, a small waist and a big hip, then you're an hourglass figure. But no, Kim is more of a pear-shaped figure because of her small, or should I say her narrow shoulder line. Now, which is necessarily not a bad thing. It's a good thing. Like, all body types are beautiful. Now, the reason why a lot of people think she's an hourglass for crying out loud, she has the right undergarment. She always wears the right undergarment. That is why for this um, particular people, it's always advised to wear padded bras or push-up bras. Now, she has an entire undergarment company for crying out loud and built a billion dollar empire on that. So she knows the right undergarment to wear to give the illusion. I don't know why I did that with my hand. That's just crazy. <laughs> to just give the illusion of an hourglass. But she is actually a pear-shaped lady. So yes, that, <laughs> I don't know why it took so much time to explain that. But yeah, people actually confuse that for an hourglass, for, confuse her, sorry, for an hourglass figure, but she's actually a pear shaped. Next up, we have the hourglass figure. And these are people with um, equal, shoulder um, equal shoulder proportion with their hip, or should I say their shoulder and their hip is of the same proportion with a defined waistline. Now, this set of people are advised to stay away from baggy clothes because it makes them look lumpy and it over, like overwhelms their frame. Now, also when it comes to pants for the hourglass um, shaped people, um, it's advised to have pants without pockets. But if you must have pockets, the pockets should be cut at like an angle, not a straight pocket because it's going to gather fabric and make like, I don't know, spoil the hip line, or should I say, make the hip line look very frumpy. So yes, um, these are the tips, but with also the hourglass shaped people, because most hourglass shaped women are usually busty, so they are expected to stay away from high necklines, like really high necklines, and not all of them are, are that busty, but most of them are. So it's better to stay away from high necklines and like and total necks. Now, I'm gonna look at my notes for this one <laughs> because necklines that they're supposed to use um, that are, um, flattering to their figure is up the off shoulder, the sweetheart neckline, the square neckline, the scoop neckline, and also V necks. When it comes to sleeves, fitted sleeves are the way to go for this set of people. Also, like. I, earlier I said in trousers, usually high waist trousers are the best for the hourglass shapes because there's just this, it gives the waist more defi um, definition and also is flattering to the figure in general. When it comes to dresses, wrap dress, shift dress, um, paneled waist dresses and also peplum dresses are the way to go for this set of people. Now celebrities that have this um, body type we have Dita Von Teese, and she is more on the petit frame of the hourglass shaped people. We also have um, Tools, who is on the plus size, and also Christina Hendricks and Beyonce. Now, people are going to argue with me because I think people think Beyonce and Kim are of almost the same size, but they are not. Beyonce is a big brother on the like on her shoulder line, and also she has a fuller bust line than Kim. And Beyonce is an hourglass <laughs> shaped figure. I don't know how else I can explain that. But yes, these are the set of celebrities. So you can also go through their styles and pick a thing or two. I always advise people when it comes to styling is that look for a favorite celebrity that is off your body type. And pick style inspirations from there and make it your own like pick pieces or things combinations that they've done before or even now and try to see how that was flattering 
to their body because they don't always get it right. Yes, if you've watched my roast, you know. So you pick things that are flattering and looks good and also incorporate it in your wardrobe. So if you've gotten to this part of the video, thank you for watching and I'm going to give two style tips before I go. Now, tip number one, do not buy or keep anything that does not fit at the moment. Now, I've made that mistake so many times because I buy stuff and I keep them and I'm like, okay, if I'm at this weight, I'm going, I'm going to rock this or if I gain this weight, I'm going to wear this. And at the end of the day, when I get to that goal weight, I don't even want to wear it again. I don't want to see that outfit again because it's already out of style. So buy things that you know you're going to use at the moment. If you have things that you've kept for years, please give it away. Like you don't need it anymore, trust me. Also tip number two, set up your wardrobe with basics that can be used to create a more like that can be used to create more looks or more fashionable looks. Now, I've been promising that I'm going to do a video on fashion basics and fashion essentials or wardrobe essentials. Now, that video is coming very soon. Trust me, trust and believe that video is coming very soon. But personally, I would I say I have a lot of clothes um, for those who know me, my counter this, but I honestly, in all honesty, I set up my wardrobe with a lot of basics then I style myself around those basics. So it's actually, it saves you money and saves you space. Seriously, trust me, just do that. Now, if you've gotten to this point and you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe. Also click on the notification bell, comment. I love the comment section on my page, or sorry, on my channel. It's always <laughs> interactive and also funny. Well, please comment, share, and tell people tell people about it. I literally had to force someone to subscribe today and yeah thank you see you in my next video Nigerians get your PVCs I'm going to emphasize this again get your PVCs remember be nice to one another drink water always and mind your business see you in my next video bye